The month of March is known as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. The American Cancer Society reports colon cancer is the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in both men and women in the United States. What many people on the coast may not have known is that Sheriff Troy Peterson has been fighting that exact cancer for a year now. Sheriff, thank you so much for joining us on News 25. Thank you. My first question for you is, uh, what, what was the exact thought in your mind when your doctor came in with a diagnosis uh, it was it was um, it was a bit overwhelming you don't you know you know a lot of people that have been through it you you talk to people I've I've done numerous cooks out for people raising money for for cancer but uh, to actually go through it is kind of different it kind of takes you and your family back a couple steps and makes you realize that you're uh, you're human and things can happen to you. How did the department come together to make sure things ran smoothly while the, you were gone? The, um, you know, the sheriff's office is a, um, it's a, it's a group of people that, that are, that are family. And uh, we all take care of one another. Uh, when I didn't want to burden the department and tell everybody that this is what I'm going through, you know, so um, the upper administration knew uh, some of the patrol captains knew and it was it wasn't until after I came back from Houston the first time that I sat everybody down and said you know this is what's going on this is what I'm going through and right. um, you're gonna have to pick up the pace and and keep the pace going and what was their reaction to you telling them they were I think most of them were um, very surprised but most of them were, were kind of taken back and uh, emotions got involved but you know I reassured everybody that it was it was very scary in the beginning uh, until we we actually made it to MD Anderson and, and once we got there uh, the doctor reassured us that that this is something that he's going to take care of mm -hmm. and uh, we kind of put it in his hands and in God's hands and, and went from there. How optimistic were you and your family? In the beginning not so much um, it was a it was a stage three cancer it, it's got uh, there's about 35 letters in the name of it whatever it is but it was stage three and it had not gone anywhere else in my body, which was a great thing. It stayed in my colon. But the, um, I wasn't real optimistic going out there. But mm -hmm. once we got there and sat down with, with the team at MD Anderson plus my, my doctor here, um, everything kind of came into play and, and we were very optimistic at that point that, that we're going to get through this. And what do you want people at home to know about this form of cancer? It seems like a lot of people almost think that it's not even a big deal or you know it's not it's not lung cancer or it's not breast cancer what do you want well I'd, I'd be remiss to not to say this but my doctor for uh, the last 20 years has been dr richard tilly who just retired and dear friend of ours and loving to death and he is um, i was 52 when i was diagnosed with it and at 49 he started telling me you need to go get this done go get a, a colonoscopy done well i'm just not you know, I, I feel like I'm a man and I'm good and I know when something's <laughs> wrong and so I didn't go get one done. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he, when I talked to him afterwards, he, he wanted to say I told you so, but he never did. You know, mm -hmm. he was very, uh, empathetic, em, it, very empathetic with me and the family. And, and, but, uh, you know, the one thing I would stress is that to anybody uh, that is the age of 49 years old, go get a colonoscopy. It's, it's a, uh, I tell everybody it's the best sleep I've ever had in my life, <laughs> the best 30 minutes sleep. Um, and it's, it's not uncomfortable. It's something that you can get through, but it's, I stress everybody that I talk to now, if you haven't got one done, go get one done. Right, and you announced your retirement as the sheriff for Harrison County in December of 2022. Is the diagnosis at all a part of the reason why you're retiring among other things or was it just other things? No, it was it was a part of it. We, um, you know, initially going into this this um, to become sheriff of Harrison County, we said in the very beginning that we were only going to do two terms. You know, mm -hmm. my, me and my family sat down and we talked and said eight years would give me plenty of time to retire. It would it would put me at the age of fifty three and um, and, I, and I think it'd be a great time to go. Back in January of last year, we actually sat down and had the conversation of do we want to run a third term or not? So mm -hmm. we kicked it around a little bit to run a third term, kind of talked to people in the public and, and everybody said, you know, please run a third term. So up until the diagnosis, it was a thought. It was something in the back of our heads that yes, mm -hmm. we could possibly do this. But um, once this, this came to light, it was, 
it was kind of one of them deal breakers where you you realize real quick what is the difference in life and work. You know, you right. you realize how much you value your family and your friends, and and uh, and this is just a is something that that you can let go of, and so that's what I decided to do. And speaking of retirement, you're just a few months out. Nine, nine months. Nine months. I like to think that that's going to fly by. It's flown by so far. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, uh, what are your plans besides fishing and golfing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I really don't know. Um, you know, that's the number one question that everybody asks me everywhere I go is, what are you going to do? And, and I don't, I don't honestly know. <laughs> I, and I really don't. Uh, I, I have a couple people that have called me for, for different jobs and different positions. Um, it's something that I'm looking at, every one of them, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to do mm -hmm. something that makes me happy. You know, this is, this job for the last 31 years has, has really been a job. And I tell everybody that, especially when I talk to kids, that when you're, when you're looking for a career, you go into a job that, that you want to be happy with. And for 31 years, I've been happy. And it's a job that you go to and you have no clue what's going to happen day to day hour to hour you just you have no idea and that's the kind of that's the kind of tenacity that I've always had in my life and I just I want to keep that up you know I want to give back to the community I want to do stuff for the community um, we love to cook we love to go out and help the community in different different aspects and so I want to continue to do that but I want to do it in another job and uh, right. but still help the community as much as I can and um, speaking of going out and doing things for the community will you do anything with cancer research or you know organizations uh I, we've looked at that and i want to get through um we still have not gone through mine i still have to go back out in april for uh, some different tests but once i get through with everything yes i want to do whatever i can to help anybody that needs help awesome sounds good well my last question what is one accomplishment as sheriff that you are most proud of there are many i wish i could i wish i could give you one but mm -hmm. i really can't the, the you know the pay raises that we brought into the the department uh, was a huge thing. The accreditation uh, for corrections and for, for enforcement was another thing that's huge. Um, our dispatch center, we're building a new dispatch center right now to be done by the end of my tenure. Uh, a new criminal investigations division we just got through building. The academy we're finishing. Um, there's just so many. The jail, we put three and a half million dollars in the jail and got it up to, to standards that'll be there for the next 10 years. So. There's just a ton of things that we've accomplished, but I think the 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 brotherhood that we brought back to the department is one of my biggest concept, uh, biggest accomplishments that I feel. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sheriff, for thank joining you. us here on News 20. Thanks for having me. Of course.